She spent thousands getting her house retrofitted. We got somebody reliable. But it won't help when the next big quake hits. There's no value in this current retrofitting. Why so many qualified contractors are doing it all wrong. Coming up next. It seems a sensible path for Bay Area homeowners retrofitting their homes against earthquakes. But in some cases, it offers a false sense of security. CBS 5 Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watson why so many residential retrofits failed to make the grade. When it comes to retrofitting, home inspector John Fryer says he sees more things done wrong than right. No shear connection, got some funky electric. And Lois Silverstein's house near the Hayward Fault is a perfect example. These washers are undersized. They're the wrong type of nail. The plywood itself needs to extend down to this foundation. His verdict? There's no value in this current retrofitting. So a shock to Silverstein, who paid about $4,000 to earthquake-proof her home a decade ago, and she didn't cut corners. We got somebody reliable. We had a reference, you know, or several references. Well, it turns out many Bay Area homeowners are living with a similar false sense of security. It's estimated one to two-thirds of retrofits in the Bay Area are inadequate and won't prevent structural damage in a major earthquake. Structural engineer Thor Matson is often hired to fix subpar retrofits. Poor work done by contractors, he says, are simply in the dark. Mostly, I think that it's a lack of training that's been available and uh, realistic details for contractors to follow. Two years ago, California adopted a seismic retrofit code known as Plan Set A. A detailed set of instructions on how to properly retrofit a home. The problem? Contractors aren't actually required to follow them. And they only apply to one specific type of home, a small wood frame structure with a crawl space, without a tile roof, and there are a series of other specific requirements. So, because there's still no code for retrofitting most single-family homes, many contractors are just using their best guess. It's frustrating seeing that it's taken so long, after, especially after Loma Prieta, and we still don't really have a good set of guidelines that really applies to a lot of the housing stock that we have in the Bay Area. Janiel Maffei of the California Earthquake Authority admits the process to develop an adequate retrofit code has been slow going. Mostly because it's, it's been done on a voluntary basis. While many groups study the problem, no one agency, federal, state, or local, has been tasked to come up with guidelines. Frankly, there's, there's a lot of different priorities, and single-family dwellings have not always been high on the list. Well, the CEA is finally moving forward, working with FEMA to create retrofit guidelines for all types of homes. But Maffei says it'll be at least four years before they're available to contractors. But we're at a point where we're ready to move on that, and um, we're going to move as quickly as we can. Too late for Lois's house. So it could end up on the ground right here, four feet that way, four feet in the back, or it could go four feet in the front, or maybe even twist. And then it's baffling to figure out, well, what to do now. Julie Watts, CBS 5. Now, California does not offer specific licenses for retrofit contractors. Experts say if your home doesn't fit the Plan A guidelines, hire a structural engineer.